بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی ڈیئر سبسکرائبرز آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل اینڈ گریٹ ان یور لائف ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل لرن بایولوجی ود ناز ود این ادر انٹرسٹنگ ویڈیو دیٹ از ریسیپٹرز ان ہیومن مور ایمفاسائز آن ایئر ایز اے ریسیپٹر فسٹ آف آل وی مسٹ نو واٹ از مینچ بائی ریسیپٹر سو دا آرگنس tissues are cells of body that are specifically built to detect a particular type of stimuli are called receptors here are some of the examples of receptors in human nose skin tongue ear eyes and beyond this some special glands etc are the examples of receptors in human ear as a receptor functions of ear our ear helps us in hearing it also maintains the balance or equilibrium of our body structure of ear ear has three main parts external or outer ear middle ear and inner ear external or outer ear It consists of three parts, pinna, auditory canal, tympanum or eardrum. Pinna. Pinna is a broad external part made up of cartilage. It is covered with skin. What is cartilage? The movable soft bone is called cartilage. What are the functions of external ears, pinna? It helps to direct the sound waves into auditory canal as it is shaped just like a funnel. Second part of external ear is auditory canal. Auditory canal, also termed as ear canal, has special glands that produce wax. What are the functions of auditory canal? The wax and hair produced in the auditory canal protects ear from small insects germs and dust these also help to maintain dampness and temperature of auditory canal after the auditory canal it comes ear drum tympanum or ear drum it is the thin membrane that separates external ear from middle ear Now comes the second part of ear that is middle ear. It is the chamber after outer ear. If we talk about the parts of middle ear, so it consists of following three parts that is medial, middle ear, oscillus, oval window, eustachian tube. What are middle ear oscillus? These are three small movable bones. and these are present inside middle ear these bones name as malleus incus steps malleus is attached to ear drum or tympanum after malleus it comes incus and finally step is is connected to a membrane or window that is called oval window I have a question for you people here. Can you please tell me which one is the smallest bone in your body? If you know its answer, drop your answer in the comment section below. Now talking about the third part of so second part of middle ear that is oval window. It is the membrane that separates middle ear from inner ear. Then comes the third part of middle ear that is eustachian tube. It is the tube through which middle ear communicates with nasal cavity. What are the functions of eustachian tube? It regulates pressure on both sides of eardrum. Then comes the inner ear. If we talk about the parts of inner ear so like the outer ear and middle ear it also has three parts 
that is vestibule semicircular canal and cochlea vestibule it is present in the center of inner ear the function of vestibule is to detect changes in gravity second part of middle ear sorry inner ear its semicircular canal these are three fluid filled canals that are present posterior to the vestibule if we talk about the functions of semicircular canal it helps us keep our body in balance then comes the third and last part of inner ear that is cochlea it is hollow spiral shaped bone and it is made up of three ducts that wrap itself into a coiled duct if we talk about the functions of cochlea so it contains sound receptor in its middle duct now keeping in view the structure of ear starting from outer ears pinna eardrum auditory canal middle ear ocellus oval window middle duct of cochlea receptor cells now impulse and brain you have to discuss the movement of sound vibration from the very first part of outer ear to the last part of middle ear then to brain now let us discuss pinna focuses and direct sound waves into the auditory canal then sound wave strikes eardrum and produce vibrations in it from eardrum these sound vibrations strikes middle ear and these vibration produces further vibration in the middle ear ocellus that are three bones from steps vibration strikes to the oval window then these vibrations reach the fluid filled middle duct of cochlea cochlea moves and receptor cell present in the middle duct of cochlea are stimulated these receptor cells generate nerve impulse and that nerve impulse travels to the brain and it is interpreted as sound so far in this video in the next video we will discuss about the function of ear as balancing in the body till then take care of yourself and your beloved one and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel allah